Hello everybody, Matt Hatter here from SSZ Canada. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Master Computer 3.0 build. Uh, this is the package build going in for VR. So we will just jump right into VR. Uh, you can see it's already loaded up uh, faster than I could put my HMD on. Uh, so the first thing you're going to see right away is the master computer screen. Uh, you can pick it up, uh, scale it, rotate it, and uh, do what you'd like. So there you can see uh, it's just a quick press of the direction pad, and that's going to allow you to, um, you know, unlock that. Um, the next one over is, is scaling, and you can tell um, which one you have it because it's got these uh, change colors. Um, so the first thing we'll look at real quick, um, the web browser uh, that opens up and it's going to take the dimensions and rotation of its parent, uh, which was over there. So you can see uh, that's all there. When you're all done, you can do that. Uh, so let's just get that rotated back to center-ish, so it's, uh, the panels are coming off more flat, there we go, um, and you can see we can make that as big as we want, uh, so we could be watching YouTube or Netflix, you know, any anything that we want here in the background, uh, rotate it and just kind of stick it off, you know, in the background out of the way so you can listen to your music or whatever. Um, the next thing we're going to look at real quick is the poly build, um, which is what we're building into the master computer now. Um, and this is the uh, new poly builder control panel. Uh, so you can see along the bottom here we have our primitive shapes. Um, so we can go ahead and choose uh, whichever one of those primitive shapes we want. We have the plain uh, square. Uh, we can choose a pre-designed material or uh, we can um, not. Um, we can, sorry, I'm just going to move this around a little bit here. And, oop, there we go. Make it a little bit easier. Ah, I think it might be easier just to start again. Yep, so let's close <laughs> let's close down that poly builder there and we'll open ourselves a new poly builder. Uh, we'll just scale it to a normal size and there we go, rotate it over here. So there we go. As I was saying, we've got the uh, things along the bottom here. Um, of course, if you don't want to use a material, you can make your own um, custom colors using the RGB sliders. Um, and when you're done, you can take it off, make as many of those as you want, uh, switch it back to material if you want. Um, if you're all done, you can grab out the trash can and delete those. Um, you can also just set it here um, and, you know, kind of drop your bricks in if you want. Uh, the next bricks that, uh, the next tool that we'll talk about after the trash can um, is... We'll just start building a little something, something. Uh, of course, not very artistically inclined, but we'll do what we can here uh, to make a little person while we talk about it so I can get some of the tools. And let's just make that there. Uh, it makes it kind of like a little wing shape. Uh, we'll jump over to the uh, sphere. Um, Let's talk about the XYZ controls, um, which stretch and skew your brick so you can make it however you'd like. I want to make it kind of like that uh, and pull this one off. And we'll use that as like an eyeball kind of thing right here. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Uh, and another little eyeball right here. Oh, he's starting to look cute. He got two little eyeballs you can see going on there. Now, another cool thing that we've got uh, on the tools over here is this item. 
Um, so you just tap it against what you'd like to copy uh, and it will make copies for you. Um, again, when you're all done with those, you just clean them all up if you'd like. Um, the next tools that we will talk about are the selections. Um, so the selections can be um, placed in the world. We'll just make sure that we're on scale. Um, they can be used like this, um, you know, so you can select uh, a bunch of the stuff, um, tap the copy against it, and it will now make a copy of everything inside of the box, um, and delete, we'll delete everything inside the box, um, and that will allow you to make sort of selections. Um, and in case you want to make a spherical selection rather than a square selection, um, you can grab that out. Um, the next one we'll talk about very quickly is the box cutter. And the box cutter, and used in conjunction with these, will cut everything inside of there. And you can pick this up later and copy it out. Uh, so that is the poly builder. I have to still write in the tool cleanup. Uh, so we'll quickly go back to the master screen here, uh, and we will have a look at the game loading. So we're in VR, everything. I've decided I don't want to build anymore. I want to play a game. Uh, so there you go. The game is now loaded up around me as I talked. Uh, when I'm all done with that game, oop, I'm on the scaling one still. Uh, so when you're all done with the game, you just flip the master computer over uh, and pull out the disc, and boom, your game is gone. Um, you can just go, you know, I want to play a different game. Uh, so there you are inside of a different game. Um, and of course, when you're all done with that one, same thing, just pull it out. The level goes away. Um, you know, I want to go into this level. And so we'll take a look at the movements, the new movements. Um, this one is uh, holding down the face button and it will go towards the direction that I'm pointing. If you walk to somewhere where you can't, it will not make you drop suddenly, um, so you won't get any motion sickness. You can, um, you know, descend down. Uh, you can't go any other direction except down. It's locked you in a descent, um, but you can go down at your own pace, um, mm, so you're not getting any sort of motion sickness. Once you're down again, um, you've got your um, movement and goes towards where you're going. On this hand, if you use um, the directions, uh, it spins you around on the D-pad. Uh, if you press the D-pad in a direction, it's gonna bring up this menu here and press down on it, you're going to teleport. So you have both your teleport and your free movements now. Uh, so that's about all I'm gonna show in VR. Let me quickly jump out and I'm gonna show you guys the same things uh, in the 3D client. So we will just jump into the editor here so that I do not have to um, take, um, we'll play this in a new window though, so that we can make it bigger for everybody. There we go. So the same thing, now we're in the 3D client. Um, you can see we've still got our rotationals uh, and everything else. You can jump in and inside there you have the poly builder. Uh, same thing, you know, you can use your shapes, uh, your RGB sliders uh, to do whatever you want. Uh, same thing, your X, Y, Z controls here. Uh, stretch skew. Uh, let's pull one of those off. Um, and we can use the paste tool. So there it is, pasting all around. Uh, same thing, we'll grab out the trash can. Uh, just do a little clean up here. Let's get all of those. Uh, and there we go. Uh, the same thing, we have all of the other same tools. There we go. Looking here, we also have the browser, which we can pull off and move where we want. And we have our game menus here. There you go, games loaded up around us. Uh, oop, I have made the entire world um, also editable at the same time. So you can see, you can start with any of our pre-built worlds 
uh, and go back in and edit them yourselves. You're going to move stuff around wherever you'd like. I want this over here and that over there and whoa. <laughs> so apparently don't uh, don't lift it like that. I'm going to leave that in the video. Um, playing around with making the entire world not only movable, uh, it is destructible as well. So all of these meshes I could run in and slice apart. Light slicer. Um, there you go, you can pick everything up, move it around. Uh, it's still a little bit glitchy apparently. Uh, I'm going to have to work on some collisions. But there you go, same thing when you're all done. Uh, just pull the disc off the back, uh, switch up to a new level. There you go, you've got the same level. All of this now editable as well. Um, so you can run around making your own uh, different designs, starting with any of the pre-built levels, um, that kind of thing. Again, when you're all done, just pull out the disc, everything goes away. Um, this goes away. You can load up the other level that we were in. There you go. And jump down. So there you go. We're walking around in the same kind of spot. And we're going to end the video there. So this is a very early look at the 3.0. Uh, we will highlight some of the zones coming up a little bit more uh, in the coming weeks as we get closer to the 3.0 launch uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Have yourselves a great evening.